Van Hendricks is uh, Chief Technology Officer of Trinseo, and uh, Trinseo is a special uh, material uh, solutions provider in the US, headquartered in uh, Wayne, Pennsylvania, with sales about 5 billion euro. Uh, business includes latex binders, engineered materials, base plastics, polystyrene, and feedstocks. Uh, and, uh, yes. If you look at the electrification of uh, mobility, that means that uh, we in the future will have no CO2 emissions in cars uh, coming from the tail, uh, tailpipe. However, uh, that's not all. Uh, we see that additional CO2 emissions come from manufacturing sites. Uh, if you look at plastic manufacturers, how do plastic manufacturers support car makers uh, to reduce the CO2 emissions? Yes, that's, that's a very important question, of course, because the overall target that we all have is CO2 neutrality and circularity. So you have to look at it from a cradle to grave perspective. Um, and when you look at these steps, starting with the extraction of raw material all the way to making the final product, using the product, and then the end of life solution, um, uh, this is a chain that cannot be owned by one company. Um, it's, uh, it's too complicated, too many players. So, so redefining the value chain is also the topic of my presentation. It's not owned by one industry. And uh, the plastic uh, manufacturers play a significant role. As you know, a lot of plastic in cars, many applications. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big focus from us, but you have to look at it from an overall value chain perspective. Yes, and how do you manufacture? What is the new manufacturing process uh, to uh, achieve uh, lower CO2 footprints? Right, so first of all, if you compare plastics to some of the other materials like uh, steel, uh, aluminum or magnesium, um, these materials require a lot more energy, fossil fuel, to manufacture into a final product than plastic. So I know plastic's reputation is not the best at the moment, but uh, um, there is a lot of opportunity to make plastics circular and, uh, and CO2 neutral. So basically we're going in two directions at this point, um, recycling technologies, um, all the way from mechanical recycling to um, to dissolution, physical recycling, chemical recycling, and pyrolysis. Um, and on the other hand, uh, bio-based materials that have a significant impact. So, so if, you, if you look at uh, my responsibilities at Trinzio, R&D, we have more or less 190 projects in parallel. There is not one project where this is not being considered. I think it's uh, for the plastics industry, it's about survival, how fast we can make this transition to CO2 neutrality and circular materials, jointly with our value chain partners. So if we look at the total value chain in the car industry and uh, with the plastics, what has to be changed in the total processes in the value chain to uh, reduce CO2 emissions dramatically? Yes, yes, it's the total value chain from the extraction of raw material all the way to making the product, using the product and the end of life. And from our viewpoint, the critical success factors to achieve this starts with developing a joint vision with the, with the players in the, in the ecosystem, in the value chain, a much closer um, cooperation um, joint and measurable uh, targets. So we're all driving in the same direction. And even the design, the look and feel of a car will change and it will enable uh, circular uh, circularity and CO2 neutrality. Because if you look at the uh, car interior, for example, today, the instrument panel, it's a substrate foam and a skin, but it's the opposite of circular design. It's diff different materials glued together, very difficult to take apart. So yeah, cars of the future will look different, um, but they will be CO2 neutral and circular. So very interesting. We have to uh, rebuild and redefine the total value chain to become more CO2, friend CO2 friendly. Uh, that was a quick take call with Han Henriks. Uh, the Chief Technology Officer of Trinseo. We will have more on that, more discussions at the next car symposium.